Hey, what's up guys? It's Emily from A Living Plantfully and welcome to episode number two of The Vegan Rican, a series on my channel where I share with you guys some super amazing Puerto Rican food veganized. So today is more of like a how-to video more than a recipe. It does have a little recipe at the end, but I want to show you guys how to make tostones, aka fried plantains, aka like the most amazing invention ever created, dare I say that? I think so. So I'm going to share with you guys how I make tostones two different ways. The traditional like Puerto Rican way which is frying it in oil and then I'm going to share with you guys the way that I usually make them which is sort of like a healthier baked version. Both super amazing so let's go right into it. Obviously you're going to need some plantains. You want to make sure that your plantains are very green. If you see them starting to get a little bit yellow that means that they're starting to develop some sugars in them and that's not what we want for this particular dish. We want to make sure that the plantain is still super starchy which is going to give us a super crispy crunchy toston at the end. For the prepping of this bad boy right here you're going to need to have a super sharp knife. You want to cut off the ends of your plantain and then you want to go ahead and run your super sharp knife across the plantain cutting through the peel. You don't want to cut through the actual flesh of the plantain itself. Okay, so now with a butter knife you're going to gently push away the peel from the plantain itself. So once the peel is kind of off, like you can see right here, you should be able to just gently like rip it off without ripping the actual plantain itself and it should come off nice and easy. If it gets stuck in any areas, you can just gently push it away again with the butter knife. Alright, so we have our plantains nice and peeled, they're ready to be cut cooked, fried, all that good stuff. Cut your plantains into little circles. I usually do circles. My mom cuts them at a diagonal. I feel like when they're in this shape, it gives you a little bit more surface area in order to get that super crispy exterior. So I'm gonna start off by showing you guys the traditional way of making tostones. So to start off with the regular version, you're gonna need some unflavored oil to fry them in. I have some sunflower oil right here. We're gonna be double frying our plantain. So for the first fry, you wanna make sure sure that the oil is a good temperature but you don't want it to be super hot we're basically going to be cooking them and here's a little secret that my mom taught me you grab a couple cloves of raw garlic and toss it in there with your plantains and it's gonna give it like this garlicky flavor not like super extreme but it's just gonna give it like this little subtle hint of garlic and I think that it's super delicious so if you want to do that go ahead and do that that's completely optional waiting for my oil to get a nice temperature you can test it by just dipping in a plantain if you see little bubbles forming then you can go ahead and drop it in there so my pan is pretty big so I was able to fit them all in there without overcrowding the pan but once they're all in there you just want to let them cook on one side for a bit until they start to get some color then flip them around let them cook on that side as well you should be able to poke them through with a fork and they be nice and tender Then you want to take them out and put them onto a paper towel lined plate just to remove any excess oil. I'm just getting these last two out of here. This is where the magic of tostones comes to life. This is called a tostonera. It's specifically made to make tostones. I bought this one when I was in Puerto Rico on vacation, but if you don't have something like this, you can definitely just do it on your cutting board with like the bottom of a cup or something like that. This definitely does come in handy, I'm not gonna lie. You wanna go ahead and put your pre-fried plantain right in the center, give it a squish, and ta-da, there you have your first toston that is ready to be double fried. I'm gonna go ahead and squish all of these plantains up and then I'm gonna raise the heat of my oil just a bit more so that during this second fry process, they can just crisp up really quickly and you don't need to let them sit in there for long. So you just wanna fry them until they're nice and golden and crispy looking. You want to hit them with some sea salt as soon as you take them out of the oil. 
So now for the second way, the healthier way, I have right here just some water that I am bringing up to a boil. I just added a little bit of salt into there. It doesn't need to be minced or anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop in a full clove of garlic. So once the water is to an actual boil, you wanna go ahead and add in your plantains. And then you wanna cook these until you can easily puncture them with a fork or a knife. All right, so now I have my baking sheet that is lined with some parchment paper, and we're gonna repeat the process that we did with the fried ones with these parboiled plantains. So before I pop them in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and spray them with some cooking spray just to give them a little bit of some oil so that they can get super crispy. I just got these babies out of the oven just a second ago. Mine were in there for a little bit over 10 minutes. You just wanna keep an eye on them. Make sure that you start to see a little bit of golden start to form on the tops of them. Now that I have showed you guys how to make tostones two ways, I'm gonna share with you guys how I make the famous mayo ketchup dipping sauce. In Puerto Rico, they literally give this to you with everything, like you order a salad and they'll give you mayo ketchup on the side because they use it on everything. It's super easy. So basically what you're gonna wanna do is in a small bowl, you're gonna wanna add some vegan mayo, some ketchup, then you're gonna add in some crushed or minced garlic, some freshly squeezed lime juice. Give it a little taste, and then you wanna hit it with a little bit of S&P, salt and pepper. All right guys, so that is how you make tostones two different ways, traditional and healthier version, as well as the amazing mayo ketchup dressing slash dipping sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and give these babies a try. So let's start with the traditional fried way. Dip it in the sauce. Mm. Just delicious. And now I'm gonna try the baked version, which you'll see are pretty freaking crunchy for being baked. Dip it in the sauce as well. Check this out. Mmm. Mmm. I'm telling you, boiling it with the salt and that little clove of garlic in there, frying them with the pieces of garlic in the oil really make a difference. I really hope that you guys give both of these recipes a try. Let me know which one you like better. Obviously, I'm gonna have to go with the traditional Puerto Rican fried way and say that that's hands down the best, but you know what? These are these are right there with it, you know what I mean? If you do make them, tag me on Instagram, at livingplantfully, hashtag livingplantfully, or you can use hashtag veganrican. I really hope that you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and if you haven't already, you already know the deal. Subscribe, click the little notification bell so you can be notified every single Wednesday when I post a brand new video. I love you guys. Stay tuned for more episodes of The Vegan Recon and I will see you next time. Bye.